Hi guys, you're watching Behind the Wheel and my name is Fahad. Today I've got a very exciting news for you and that is BMW has slashed its prices for its vehicle iX3 which is a complete 100% electric vehicle SUV and as the name suggests it is the cousin of its previous petrol variant X3. Now, if you've watched one of my videos, which is regarding novated lease in Australia, you would come to know that if you novate uh, an electric vehicle in Australia, that saves you thousands of dollars. And that saving comes from the tax. You don't get to pay any FBT on a novated lease if and only if the basic price of your vehicle lands under the luxury car threshold of $89,334. Now, to match this, BMW has recently reverse engineered the price to increase their sale volumes and improve their sales. Um, I can show you that. This has been done very recently, a few days ago. If you go to their website and look for the BMW iX3, which is for the electric vehicle SUV, click on that and then click on the build and price. We'll come to know about the different variants. Now, what BMW has done is that they have worked out a special variant just to meet the novated lease requirements. And that variant is called iX3 M Sport. The previous variant, or still the one which is available, the higher one now, is iX3 M Sport Pro, which is a costly variant, costing 108,000 Australian dollars. While this new variant, which is the cheaper one, is costing 92,280 Australian dollars. If you look at the major specs for both these variants, they are absolutely the same. That is 210 kilowatts power. The acceleration from 0 to 100 takes around 6.8 seconds and the battery capacity is 80 kilowatt hours out of which 73.9 kilowatt hours net value and it takes around seven and a half hours to fully charge to 100 percent and it has a maximum capacity of 11 kilowatt ac chargers while the high power dc chargers can be up to 150 kilowatts which are supported now, if you have a look at the M Sport, which is now a newly worked out variant just to help you get the benefit from the novated lease, is exactly the same, which is 210 kilowatt power, a rear wheel drive, 6.8 seconds to accelerate to 100 kilometers, 80 kilowatt hours battery out of a 73.9 kilowatt hours usable. Seven and a half hours to take 200% capacity of charging, and these are the max capacity for the AC and DC charging, which is exactly the same. So, there is no difference if you look at the major specs and drivetrain for both these variants. So, why not go for the M Sport, which is cheaper? I'm going to show you how this is going to bring the value of the car under the LCT threshold, although it's showing 92,000 over here. So first of all, let's just scroll down and you will see that it comes as a standard variant. So there are no more, no more items that you can pick and choose from. Uh, the exterior paint, for example, is one thing that they have slashed the price from because it used to be three and a half thousand dollars previously. But now if you pick and choose any of these metallic paints, it costs you nothing so you can get an upgraded color for no additional cost it comes with a 19 inch alloy wheels at no additional cost and interestingly it comes with three different colors of interior one is the standard black and we have a creamy white color upholstery and seats and of course it's a it's a true leather seats and we also have a third option available which is dark brown or tan or they are calling it mocha leather so this is the second one which is a creamy white or light beige in color and this one the last one that i said is the mocha leather color available for the seats and the upholstery that comes at no additional cost you can pick and choose out of one of these three, which is good and a lot better than iX1, in which it does not give you any option to upgrade the interior. Then comes the trims. You have three different options to choose from, and they also come at no additional cost at all. So you can pick and choose out of these three trims. 
um, as we scroll further down then the whole package is got no additional cost so everything which is included is just as a standard inclusion uh if you talk to your dealers they haven't mentioned over here but as i have confirmed if you talk to bmw dealers they'll tell you that the bmw ix3 will come with a five years free subscription of charge fox that means you can keep the car for five years at no additional cost for charging if you charge it at uh charge fox charging stations that's a really big deal and saves a lot of money and also as you would be needing to have a wall box installed at home if you talk to the dealers some of the dealers are offering this charge box for free which will cost around 1200 dollars so this might come free to you as well and if you are in nsw then your total cost on the road would become ninety-seven thousand and fifty dollars now some of you must be thinking ah it's still falling outside the lct threshold or the luxury car threshold which is sitting at eighty nine thousand three hundred and thirty four dollars well i'll give you the breakup of this price if you click on this i you will get to the next page where you will be able to see the breakup of the price most of the items over here which are kept as standard inclusions are all for free and here is the breakup of price the base price of the car is 81,000. Now, since we have 10% of GST, which will become 8,100, so the total cost of the car will be 89,100. The third major item to be added into the basic price of the vehicle is the dealer delivery. Now, it is showing here as two and a half thousand dollars, but I have spoken and confirmed from the dealers this has been slashed down to around $200 only. So the total price of the car comes out to be the addition of base price, the GST, and the dealer delivery, which has been slashed to $200, and it becomes 89,300 Australian dollars as the basic price, which just falls under the luxury car threshold. Now, since it falls under the luxury car threshold that means you don't have to pay a single penny as fbt and on an awaited lease you'll be saving thousands of dollars and it's a lot better than paying one off so if you are in queensland you might have to pay slightly lesser than this because on-road costs are a lot cheaper compared to nsw in queensland so it might be a figure of around ninety four thousand dollars and this price has been reverse engineered by bmw just in order to promote their sales and it is a confirmed thing now if you are interested you can talk to your bmw dealers and one thing i would like to confirm over here that this video was not sponsored by bmw it's just that something i found recently and i thought i should share with you guys if you like the video please subscribe hit the like button and pass on this video to anyone who is looking to buy an EV. This is Fahad signing off. Till next time with a new video. Till then, cheers. Bye.